Welcome to General Structures 2 and Lateral Forces, Lesson 1, Example Number 1. And what they're asking for is, is what live load reduction is permitted for a floor member supporting 300 square feet if the dead load is 80 pounds per square foot and the live load is 100 pounds per square foot. And I kind of just wrote out what are the steps that you need to do once you're given, and I'll write down the givens what you need to go over to say, hey, can we reduce this live load? And once you can, you go ahead and do the math. All right, first things first, it looks like this is from the UBC, Uniform Building Code, and you need to really understand what your what code you're, you're, you are designing by because you don't want to go ahead and do one thing and find out that that was not what you were supposed to be doing. So when you are designing, first thing you want to do is figure out what code you're designing from by. Because, I, actually I'll go over this later. I'll show, first of all, we'll do this uh, the UBC way, and then we'll I'll mention what the IBC is. At least 2006 is what I have on hand and I, I have looked at. So, but so given. says 300 square feet, so area equals 300 foot squared. Dead load is 80 pounds. Pounds per square foot. Oh, shoot, sorry about that. 80 PSF. Live load is 100 pounds per square foot. All right. Now, we need to use this criteria, and if you go uh, above and to the left, you'll see that it starts on the last paragraph on the left column, and it says, floors in the building where partitions are located are subject to change, must be designed to support a load of 20 pounds per square foot in addition to all other, lo other loads, except for places of public assembly, and except for live loads greater than 100 pounds per square foot. There we go. The uniform, it says it permits to be reduced. You read through that paragraph and you'll see that it, if, if it is except for places of public assembly. So we have to go up, except for places of public assembly. Is the same thing about public assembly? No. So we're good on this. So it's not a place of public assembly, so we can say, okay, then we can reduce it. Except for live load is greater than 100 pounds per square foot. Do we have that? No, it is equal to 100 pounds per square foot, not greater. So we can can reduce the live load according to that criteria. And then if we go down, it says the building code permits live loads on any member supporting more than 150 square feet to be reduced. Is it more than 150 square feet? Yes, it's 300 square feet. So it can be reduced. All right, so we use this equation right here. And I wrote down what our variables mean. R is the reduction in percentage. That's what we're going to get. And then R, little r, is the rate of reduction. And it says 0 0.08 for floors. And is that what we're dealing with? Yes, it says it's permitted for a floor member. So this is a floor member. So we're going to use this right here as opposed to going a ta to a, the table 10-16-C for the roofs. So we're going to use this right here for R. So we know that R equals 0 0.08 given right here. All right, and then A equals the area of the floor roof. So pretty much your distributed area. Now I'm going to go, this is a little confusing right here. This is just a comma. Because I, I said the equation comma where all right, let's go ahead and start solving for using this UBC criteria of reduction. So we know the reduction percentage equals 0 0.08, which is your R. And then A is 300 foot squared minus 150. And you get I have not gotten my calculator out. One second. So this will once again give you the reduction percentage. How much can you re reduce your percentage of live load? So 0 0.08 times parentheses 300 minus 150, which is 150, equals 12. So that means 
you can reduce your percentage by 12% or 100 minus 12 we'll put percentage so you know what I'm talking about equals what? 88 equals 0 0.88 is how I like to remember it. You can reduce your live load by by 12 percent. I'm, I'm not going to say by 0.88 because that's untrue. So once we have this number of 12 and, and 0.88 or, or 88 percent you can go down and you'll see right below the this criteria up here on the sheet about mid halfway down through the page it says the live load reduced reduction may not exceed 40 percent so does not exceed 40 percent so your max is 40 so it needs to be less than 40 percent 40 percent is max I'll just say it that way so do we are we greater than 40 percent no we are not so we're good and this is and that's from 40 percent is for one level only which we have to assume 60 percent for other members and we'll just assume that we were 40 in this criteria because of the I don't think it says anything about how many levels you have so we'll use that criteria and then what else does it say? 60% for other members and nor R as determined from the formula. So it can't be greater than 40 using our criteria or 40 is max or R minus 23.1 1 plus D over L. So it can't be greater than this either. This is your max reduction either the greater or least of this or this or 60 depending on which one alright so let's go ahead and solve this I'll change colors again and you have 23.1 I'll just put this in parentheses I like to do that so it's less confusing for me 1 plus your dead load over your live load so let's go up here your dead load is 80 your live load is 100 so it's going to be 0.8 equals 23.1 times 1 plus 80 over 100 equals 41.558%. So as you can see, this is still controlling. And so you might want to go over here and write controls next to this. And then you could say you could do that or D and C does not control. So still this 40% max controls, but as you can see, we're not even close to there. So I, I really, this might be confusing saying it does it controls as well. You could put all three of these criteria, you could put 12%, 40%, 41.58, .5, and this 12% is your controlling factor. So when I said this controlled, this controlled over between this 41.5 and this. But I'm going to go ahead and I would say that this does not control when you take into this, this is the 12% is by far the lowest reduction. And you always want to reduce the live load the, the least, whatever the criteria is, the least criteria. And that comes from that first equation. So, And I will put that this does control. So this is what your actual answer is for what is your, I'm going to go up to the top and say, what is the live load reduction is permitted? And that, that was the answer to our question, because that is what is permitted from the live load. But let's go back to the the question and make sure that we answer this correctly. It says, what live load reduction is permitted for a floor member? So it doesn't really say live load percentage. If the, it, it doesn't really say a live load percentage. It says what, what live load reduction is permitted. So let's go ahead and, and figure that out. Let's, let's multiply 0.88 times 100 or, well, that's, that's simple. It's going to be 12 is how much you can reduce by 12 PSF. So I hope you understand what I'm going through right here is to get the answer in PSF you can just say alright my live load times reduction equals which I'm gonna is your actual load. Which What I would do is just take your live load, which was 100 PSF, times 0.88, 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 times 0.88
times your amount from 100% minus your percent reduction equals what? That's going to be 88 PSF. But this really asks what live load reduction is permitted. And you, hopefully you can just say that it's 12 PSF. And I think this is probably a better answer than my previous answer of 12%, 12 PSF. Since it doesn't say what it does not say what live load reduction percentage, it says what live load reduction. And I think the best answer would be 12 PSF is what live load reduction is. So that's a little bit confusing. Uh, I'm sure if you showed your work and you know what what you're going for there is this is what you're, this 88 is what you're actually going to use. So instead of 100, you're going to use 88 PSF. All right, and now as I had promised, I'm going to give it a quick eraser and I'm going to erase this and go over what the IBC says. And this is more just following what it says in the code, just being a little bit tedious into figuring out, hey, hey, can I reduce this live load given what code I'm talking about? So we'll use purple. And from the IBC 2006, this is what they, it says the live load reduction. It says L equals L. Oh, I looked this up earlier. 0 0.25 plus 15 over K L L A T. So this is what the live load reduction is for IBC. And this L is L is going to be your reduced live load. And that's going to be in, actually, let me just put it in parentheses here. That should be in probably PSF. And then your LO equals your unreduced live load. That's also in PSF. And then your KLL. Whoops. Is what's called your live load element factor and you get this from table it's just a a number like a it's, I think it's one two three four one two three or four and that's from table one six oh seven point nine point one and then your AT is your distributed area I'll put area all right so I won't go through this because I have two, about two minutes left and I don't think I'd be able to get it done in time. But if you want to, you go in here and say, okay, well, let's put the same criteria in and see what I can get assuming this. And you, I hope you have your IBC and you'll, you'll find this. It's pretty easy to find. Just look for this equation and uh, you can go through the steps. Read what they say. Um, once again, go over this and you'll see that it's probably going to be about the same. You're probably going to get a reduction factor around 0.4-ish, 5-ish, around there. And as you can see, if you're looking at your IBC, is it, this has to your A has to be greater than, I think, 400 PSF to do this. So, once again, we only had 300. So you actually, according to this, if you did go through it, you wouldn't be able to reduce since our A equaled 300 PSF. Your live load reduction would you couldn't reduce your live load at all, so you wouldn't. Which our live load reduction was only what 12%. That's not much. So, all right, I've beat that like a dead horse. Once again, go look at the IBC and see what that says. Usually, I I always use IBC as opposed to UBC these day and age. All right, I will see you on example number two.